<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> group of companies and Sami flex tv presents september to remember and in september to remember dubai tour with Sami flex atm wa kwenye na uni yako dubai na wako shewe nisu adie na fe ya sansu wa jieni ya bo na yebeko tour places biti se desert safari dubai frame atlantics water park dubai city tour na fe yach party nisu tuetia na ya sansu wa party in the cloud inti ya mayen kompani ya mekanchero da bi ya ya september to remember dubai tour with Sami flex na yebasu 24th september ni kwasi 29th September and anti for any reservation and as entry to remove ya and your fresh out my true for we 0243 51 47 32 and now plus 971 559 49 4061 proudly sponsored by Sankofa restaurant taste Africa on Hinebaji my TV and a fee Eddie K media September to remember Dubai tour with Sammy Flex a baby kicking Well, we are here once again to do the editorial as we have been feeding our wonderful viewers all over the world with quality analysis, content, information delivery, and more. And I do this with my solid team, Digital Rasta, who is also called Currency, handling our camera for us, as well as Richie Flex, who is the editor and director of our shows here on Summit Flex TV. In fact, what I want to talk about today is a very hard one. And it's a very hard one because I know some people will not find it very comfortable, very legal. Okay, maybe I can't even use that word. Very, very legal. But whether we like it or not, in the area of show business, some of these things, they happen one way or the other. Now, my confusion is whether we should encourage it or we should discourage it. That is my confusion. But maybe until I'll be done with my submission, you never know my point exactly. So take your time, get my point, and after, if you feel like to also add yours to it, it is allowed. I keep saying, Sami Flex, I operate the best open door policy ever in the media space that you can think about. As much as you come respectfully, I'm also ready to meet you respectfully. Same way, if you want to come the other way, Gidigba, I'm also here to meet you. Pe -pe -pe. Now, Tap Tap Send wants you to know you can use their app to send money from abroad to Ghana with no stress. No stress at all. All that you have to do is to download the app on your phone, put in your bank details right after. Remember to use the promo code SAMIFLEX if you're able to do this. Bingo, you are good to go to send money the way you want it. And um, we are still looking for more passengers to be added to our Dubai trip. So if you are here and you want to have time in Dubai for some one week tour, 29th to, uh, sorry, 24th to 29th, let's do September to remember. I just came from my bankers, that is the FDN bank, and most of the staff members were telling me how they want to be a part of this trip. I said, bankers, bring some of your money and don't hide it. <laughs> so how about you? Think about it and let's run things. Now, let me move on to something I have seen. It is a very hard one. It is a comment that has been made via a Facebook post by George Mensah Britain, 
who happens to be the manager of Kamido. And he says something. That's why I said to you earlier that this might come across to some people as an illegal thing to even discuss. But I'm saying until I'll be done with my submission personally, I'm not even sure whether I trust in this, whether I support it, or I am discouraging it. I'll be reading that. But first, let's also say big ups and congratulations to Stone Boy. Stone Boy, at least, is done with his American tour on the Fifth Dimension album. And to me, in this world, if you don't learn to appreciate your small wins, you will never be grateful for your life. That is why there are some people, even the small things you do for them, because they, they might not be people who appreciate small things. The little, little things you do for them, they don't even think it is enough for them to say thank you to you. But those who appreciate small things, I'm sure they would even keep getting more. That's why sometimes when you see people do as good on this platform, we don't hide it. We shout as much as we can. We make all the noise for the world to know that really and truly, someone did this for us. And after watching Stoneboy go through the North American tour successfully to where he played the last show in Canada, I want to say congratulations to him. I know elsewhere, others are having discussions and arguments over, oh, the space, the space, the space. No. You don't need to start with a 20,000 capacity as someone who is now trying to break some grounds elsewhere. You don't need to start like that. You don't need to start with like a 50,000 just as the Whiskeys and the Benner Boys are doing. You don't need to start like that. It starts gradually. Today, Benner Boy has been recorded for doing 60K and 40K and other things. But I know some years ago, he was also doing 1,000 and 800 and 500 just as some of our people are doing now. Asaka, the group from Kumasi who made drill music, very popular to the world. They are in UK and Europe filling the venues. Stone Boy just finished with his American, South North American tour. As it stands now, information I hear is that he's about to cross over to the UK and maybe he'll continue in Europe as well. To me, it is a big achievement for him. Because I remember he had some dates already published when his album um, came out and he said because he needed some time to promote the album so he can get some of these songs to go on the tour, he cancelled or pulled off or put out of all these dates and decided to come back again. And to me, if he decided to play his shows at 1,000 capacity, 2,000 capacity, 800 capacity, 400 capacity, if that was what he envisaged and he has been able to play them at a Sussex, that's it. Because one, you couldn't even, env or you can't envisage to, uh, 200 capacity and go and do 2,000. No, it is not possible. Elsewhere, the laws there would not even permit you to do some of these things. So, I am here to let him and his team feel that no matter how small, that was what they saw. They saw that small thing and they needed to conquer it. And as it stands now, they have been able to conquer it. It is a big deal to me. In this world, everybody grows gradually. And nobody is in a competition with anybody unless you want to put yourself under that pressure. The other day when we were doing some Flight Connect, one of my colleagues from Nigeria called Eric called and said, I don't know why Ghanaians are bothered about their success and their growth in the industry. When in reality, in Africa, they are number three. In reality, in Africa, we are number three when it comes to show business or better still, music and entertainment. Of course, you put Nigeria at the top, followed by maybe South Africa, and Ghana will surely follow. For the rest of them, Tanzania, Cameroon, and all those people to follow. So it is in itself a cool win for us, if only we would not compare ourselves like what some of our people are doing. I'll talk about that in another topic, though. So congratulations to Stone Boy. I think that is a human's job. And let me also seize this opportunity to say big ups to blogger um, Ronnie is everywhere. 
Big ups to Ronnie is everywhere. Ronnie is everywhere really threw some light on Stone Boy's um, tour. Because if it had not been Ronnie is everywhere, I'm not sure much would have been seen from Stone Boy's tour. Um, he also did some portions of Sarko Deer's tour whilst he was in the US. And again, he followed it up with Stone Boy to Canada. And he's done a lot for, for him. As a matter of fact, I know originally it was not in Stone Boy's plans to fly a blogger to go and do this with him. But because Ronnie finds himself in America and maybe he had the time to do this, it has become so beautiful. And this tells us that no matter how we are doing it, whether big or small, if we can get some of these people to be around it, they also add some color to it. If they can add some of these or two people around it, they add some flesh to it. I'm sure many people would have gone to some of these shows knowing that, oh, we have been watching the outcome of the previous uh, tour stops on Ronnie is Everywhere's block. And therefore, we know that when we go there, just as the people were having fun, we are also going to have fun the same way. And it was good. So this is to encourage some of these, our people, that when you are going out, we know you cannot pick everybody. At least you have some favorites among us doing this business. Can you add one or two so they can also go and project your activities? It is for your own good. Of course, we also benefit. But a bigger good comes to you. Now, let's move on to the next business. And this is where I'm saying that it is a hard one. But just as Samiflex is another hard figure, we will surely talk about this. And when I'm done, maybe you know whether I support this or not. Now, a post by Camido's manager, George Mesa Britain, on Facebook has started a conversation. And the conversation, whether legal or illegal, we need to have. Now he says, we need more Game Boys. And Game Boys were actually kept in caps. We need more Game Boys in the music industry. And when they come, we will build structures to protect their investment. Boys with ECC. <laughs> Boys with ECC. Do you understand ECC? I'll explain to you what ECC means later. Now, this is what George Britton is saying. We need more Game Boys in the music industry. And when they come, we will build structures to protect their investment. Boys with ECC. Now, I know one of the things that many people have been saying we need as an industry to grow is investment. Money, money, and money. Everybody is saying this. In fact, every discussion where people really know what they are looking for, one thing they will talk about first is money. I know some of my people will even say money, 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 money. Because to them, when they have the money, any other thing they can control with the money they have. Some people believe that when they have the money, all other things being equal, they can use the money to build any other structure that they would want to push in this space. So when George Britton says we need some Game Boys to be around, in short, all that he's trying to say is that in this game, if we can, there are some people who have some disposable cash to spend. There are some people who have some money to put out there. As to how they got the money, I'm not sure he was ready to talk about it. All that he wants to say is that there are some people who are ready and they have some disposable amount of money to spend. And those people, if they are around, they can push some of to be a hypocrite with what we've got into in this discussion. Elsewhere, we know the story. Elsewhere, we know how some people who had some disposable money, based on how they acquired it, however, decided to support, pump, or inject some part of these monies into the entertainment music industry. And today... We have seen the growth. We have seen the development. Today, we've seen the rise and rise and rise and rise. In our industry here in Ghana, I cannot also say that it has never happened in our industry. No, I'll be a hypocrite to say that. It has happened in several and different ways. But as to whether those who were doing that saw importance, saw benefits, 
And as to whether they are encouraged to do it again, only God knows. I'm not too sure about it. Because we know. Some of our people have also gotten in touch with some of these game boys, one way or the other. That's what I'm saying. This particular topic is very tricky. Because personally, I am not too sure what I believe in in this topic. But what I know is that sometimes they say, you go for it in every means possible. If as it stands now, those people with disposable income can take some of these, our artists, and say, guys, we are ready to hold you down. Let's go out there and make it happen. It is possible to happen. It will happen. It will happen. Because now to go and do a show at the O2 arenas and all these big, big venues, your production cost alone is no joko. So if it is not a promoter, who is going to spend all these monies on you? And hardly will you get a promoter who will be willing to spend such amount of pounds on an artist for such a show. In fact, it will be in the artist's best interest to do such a show. It will be in the artist and his management's best interest to stake such shows for themselves than to wait for a promoter to come and do this for them. So imagine if any of our artists would even want to do it and they don't have that fan. They don't have the money to do this. It is not possible. Maybe that is why George Britton is asking that. Can we have some Game Boys into brackets? Cups. Who can invest into our showbiz space? And again, if they do, we are going to build structures to protect their investment. This is a very deep conversation. Maybe it is not a conversation by, for the roadside. It is a conversation for boardroom. It's a conversation for round table. It's not a conversation for YouTube. Maybe. Because if I do it here, it means some revelations would have to go out. But I don't know if it is possible that some people who are ready to invest in this music industry, those who have disposable income, if they can start some of these conversations with our people, maybe it will be the way out. Because it is not surprising that when it comes to showbiz, those who have disposable income are the people you need to do this with. You cannot do showbiz with those who are going to use their money to buy raw materials for agriculture. No, they, they can't wait. They can't wait. Never. The next uh, harvest season is coming. They can't wait for you to blow nest. They would have to move on. But if we have such a thing going where some people who have disposable money can say, oh, I'm ready. I have some one million dollar down there and i can run it around i can wash it around what you are doing let's see what will come out of it it is one of the ways to go if such a conversation can start it is good if it cannot start let's do what we can do in our own powers look for the right plugs look for the right measures look for the right structures institutions and people who can make this happen on this note, Game Boys have done it elsewhere. They've helped some people to succeed. They've actually raised them to look good, to look big. And if it is a discussion that we can do, let's open it up. Let the wise listen to what Sammy Flex is saying. And to those who would want to say what they want to say, they know their position. Let them also do that. My name is Sammy Flex. We will continue with this some other time. Stay tuned. We're out of here.